Welcome back folks to the VIA pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. So today we're gonna do a continuation of the simple pinstriping designs. Uh, I'm unsure what number this is, uh, but I really like doing these because it gives me a chance to, to get a video out there and it gives uh, beginners uh, a chance to have something to practice, something simple, something nice. And today I have uh, one of these uh, panels from Alpha 6 Corporation. It's an aluminum blank sign. Um, you can order them on Alpha uh, 6 Corp. Just Google it, Alpha 6. And I got my uh, Kafka number one scroller brush. And uh, I did a little grid here with a, um, a pencil called a scribe all that you can find um, it, like Joann's fabrics and Michael's and such. <clears throat> They're basically water soluble pencils. You see how you can just take that off? Comes off with water for the most part. <clears throat> all right, so let's get started. Um, I like this design. I come up with it, what, last night, I think. Let me make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. And the reason I like it is I felt like it kind of looks like a rocket ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, start in the middle. We're going to do a line that kind of goes outward. And back in. So C curve. Let me make sure that's in focus. <clears throat> I've already gone a little too far. Let me let me wipe that off. Let's start over. I, I want I don't want it to be so so fat, so wide. So I'm gonna get a little mineral spirits, put it on this rag, which is what I'm reducing with. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Bad start, folks. But you know what? You got to learn how to wipe off the things you don't like. And we're, I'm not going to clean it up real good because I don't want to lose my grid. <clears throat> so I got a little smear, but it, it'll be fine. This is just, this is just the exhibition, right? So I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to keep this not so far out. So let's start right here where you can see. Start in the middle. We're going to go just slightly out and back in just a little bit All right we're going to do the same thing on this side mirror image and that's why the grid helps you out so you can sort of see how far out you went and how far in you have to go right so this is actually uh, very telling of the shape that we're going to make so it's basically just going to keep riding off of this shape, sort of. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop that goes back, but we're going to start on top. And we're going to go slightly out. And a slight curve connecting back into that first line. See? And if you don't end up with a very nice tip there, you kind of want to create a good intersecting point <clears throat> that's what separates uh, what a lot of folks would consider good pinstriping versus not so good you know designs or whatever but you really want you really want to put forth the effort to make sure that your connections and your lines are clean right just like a welder or something you know you want to take pride in your craftsmanship see and I completely missed the mark there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in just a little bit right clean that up not quite as clean as the first one let me focus on that but we'll move on <laughs> Clearly, I'm rusty. <laughs> I just told you to make it nice, and I'm, I'm not going to make it as nice as I could. So do as I say, not as I do. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come from here. We're going to go out slightly, and 
we're going to pull it down to about right here. Start right there. Slight arch. Coming in to almost as far as it did with this one. So pretty close. Now you have a longer swoop, right? Short swoop, long swoop, short swoop. These are basically all C curves <clears throat> at the moment. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to go slightly outward. Down. Try to follow the same curve. And try to end at the same spot, but clearly on the other side, right? So there we have that. Now, we're going to go in, into the design a little bit, which is going to be right there. And we're going to curve out pretty hard and connect back to make that point. I don't know if this thing's staying focused or not, but I'm going to try to work the camera at the same time. So you see how that curved pretty hard. That's one of the reasons I like using the scrollers is I don't have to spin this in my fingers the way you would a sword. <clears throat> now, I will say it's sort of a crutch because with a sword, you can pull a line, a very fine, good long line past two feet, whatever, and it still holds up that consistency. With this, you have limitations. That line will only stay consistent for so long. So keep that in mind. If you're doing like me and you're using scrollers, you might want to reconsider and get into the swords some because I, I have uh, fallen off the sword wagon. Just never really got used to them. And now it's hard for me to pick them up. All right, so we're going to go over. Nice hard curve. We're going to come down and meet up at the same spot. All right? <clears throat> and if you can, you want to try to make these uh, negative sections look similar as close as you can. And that is created by having the same curve. Now this one's a little bit more shallow. This one went out a little further, but we're going to keep it. Again, this is all housekeeping stuff, but <clears throat> I'm just giving you the gist here, folks. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an S-curve from here. It's going to go in a little bit. It's going to come out as such, right? So we're going to almost continue this turn and go like so s curve out and then back in All right hopefully you can see that yeah you can see it <clears throat> all right now it's a little challenging but if you need to kind of guide yourself right let's see where you ended up I ended up right below that middle, that point. Crosses over right there, crosses over right there, crosses over right there. If you need to draw it, that's fine. Sometimes, just so I don't have to get the, you know, guess, I sometimes I'll kind of just quickly sketch out where it needs to be. Even if you sketch it wrong, you know where to correct yourself. <clears throat> right? So, and I'm always palleting in between to get the paint the way I want it. Now we're going to go inward some. All right, we're going to follow the same direction. Try to land in the same spots. Out. And in. Right below that cross, right? So now we got that. I'm going to palette my brush a little bit more, put some more paint on there. What I'm going to do is, <clears throat> now I'm going to connect this. So, let's see. I'm 
just going to go from here and down. Connecting that. Same thing over here. Downward. Connecting there. Right. Now imagine this could be something that maybe goes um, where the uh, headlight, like if you got something that's a round, nice round shape, maybe the headlight could be here. So behind the headlights of a car. That's what I'm picturing in my mind, right? When I develop this. So maybe even the hood of a car. But definitely I'm thinking more of a round object. So I don't know why I'm thinking like a Jaguar headlight, you know. Even though a lot of them have the two headlights. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a little Gia <clears throat> this weekend. So maybe uh, that's what's kind of in my mind. Um... Now, keep in mind, if you if this feels too wide, you could always squeeze it in and make it more thin. I'm kind of doing this so folks uh, have an easier time following the shapes, right? So I feel like if it was squeezed in some, a little thinner, a little more narrow, it would be a little cooler, in my opinion. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is we're going to create this shape that kind of fills in the middle, right? We're going to start right here, we're going to go out, and in, sort of following where this ended up, sort of following the shape, but not, all right, so we're going to go out, and in, and what we're going to do is, we're going to create another one. Starts here, out, and it connects right back into there, right? So kind of almost like a, I don't know if that's a boomerang shape, but kind of gives it more forward movement or upward movement, right? <clears throat> now, that's pretty much it, folks. That's the design. You can keep adding to it um, in any way you want. You can, you know, elongate it more. Uh, there's ways of filling these uh, open shapes if you'd like. Uh, you can do something like this. It's always an easy way to add to the shape is kind of have an open-ended area going back into the close-ended section and connecting them. It gives it another feeling, right? A different feel. All right? Now this is just me adding to it. So you can add in a lot of different ways. So that kind of sh changed the shape a little bit. Uh, you can put a teardrop down the center if you'd like. You know, there's a, there's a lot of different ways you can add to this. Right? <clears throat> it's weird. It almost looks like a mean hound dog or something. <laughs> you know, if you want, uh, you could add uh, teardrops on this side. All right. You can use multiple colors. This is just me adding random crap to it. There's like a million ways to add to this. You can do an inverted teardrop, so start lightly. I guess this would actually be what a teardrop shape should be, is fat at the bottom, right? So, a bunch of different ways to add to it. Um, hopefully you like that, hopefully it helps. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I know it's been a minute, I haven't had a chance to make videos. Um, my buddy, uh, Jack Fleming and I have been doing the Pinstripers podcast, so uh, if you can, look us up on Spotify or on uh, iHeart 
radio or on Google Podcasts. Um, we're interviewing uh, pinstripers from uh, hopefully all over the world, but we got about seven or eight different uh, uh, episodes now, and it's it's been a lot of fun. It's quite time consuming, but we're learning a lot, and it's been amazing. So. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I figured hopefully this helps to try to kick out another video and y'all have a very good day. Bye-bye.